All right, everybody. We're gonna do a video of this U.S. General Harbor Freight toolbox. I've had it for oh, probably a year or so now. Just wanted to go over it and just show you the quality of what it is for what it is. Being, you know, for price wise, I I don't think it's a bad deal. I have the uh, the bottom, the top, and the uh, side box, and I mean the side box here. That's where I, you know, it holds a lot of stuff. It shelf's crooked because the one clip fell out on me. It's my own fault. I just got to put it back on. So don't dis Harbor Freight for being crooked. <laughs> but anyway, I got all my specialty tools in there holds a lot of stuff actually has a little coat rack that would go up in there you see the one clip it dropped down on me the other day and I didn't feel like digging it out with all this shit in here but one of these days I'll get it it has two drawers down in the bottom you know well you could use this for multiple purposes the shelf's adjustable it does have a little like I said a little piece of tubing it goes across the top there for you can hang coats or shirts or whatever you know and you know the top holds a lot it's where I keep all my sockets you know this side's all my standard then my metric and I got you know up here's all the sockets triple squares you know torques in my ratchets and everything else in there. I mean, I like it. It's hold, held up so far pretty good. It's all my electrical stuff. Multimeter. These here. Now let me talk about this. This tool here I found uh, from videos on YouTube. And all it is is meter, you know, replaces your old uh, traditional type meter leads. But this here, it's a special type. You know, you got this to be your positive. And then, obviously, the ground. But what this tool does, you unplug a sensor, whatever sensor you want to use, say, uh, let's just use a, you know, a EVAP solenoid or whatever. And you're testing it or whatever power ground and how this works is here's a video I mean <clears throat> you can watch on YouTube it probably you know the guy that invented it is the one you know goes all about it but this here you plug you know plug in your ground and then you were plug this into your hot and you the special thing about it is you can load the circuit you hit this button and it'll load the circuit for you does its own voltage drop so that's why I like them it does a great job for that they're not expensive at all it's called the load pro that's what this is called these leads and I never use my traditional leads anymore this this here is all I use but anyway check them out load pro check out videos on YouTube about it uh, it's a great little modification to your multimeter it's it's awesome you know down here I just got pliers suspension stuff punches chisels and here's some other odds and ends fuel disconnect tools bolt extractors drill bits some homemade pullers I made um, Stethoscope, polar, steering wheel, polar, harmonic balancer, whatever you want to use it for. Air tools, drills, air hammer, cutoff wheels. This bad boy does the trick for anything. Three quarter inch drive. It's a bad little guy. And you know, this is a Harbor Freight little uh, 250 max torque supposedly I mean it does the job but then I got the earthquake and that for the price of this gun for 
from Harbor Freight. It it does good. It's got it's got the balls, and it torques up good. It I never had a problem with it yet. So for being Harbor Freight stuff, you know, DIYer guys, you know, even professional guys, you know, for the price you pay for it, it works. This here is just my drawer. I have all my engine tools in. Uh, reamer, piston, uh, ring compressor, honer. This is, you know, valve spring compressors, whatever. So, and then, you know, I got some other little torque bits, Allen keys, magnets, tip cleaners. Screwdrivers, oh man, I love my Craftsman screwdrivers. I do believe they are the best. I hammer on these things, and they just, they hold up well. I like Craftsman screwdrivers. Pliers, nothing special about pliers, but. Down in the big drawer, three quarter inch sockets, standard and metric. Mm -hmm. Um, a little zip gun I use for, you know, underbody panels and such, whatever little stuff you want to use it for. Wrenches, standard American wrenches, uh, all Craftsman. Metric wrenches, Craftsman, and I got a set from Harbor Freight. They do, they do the job. Uh, vacuum pump, Noid lights, pressure gauge, fuel pressure gauge. Down here is just some torque wrenches. Nothing here. A oh, wheel bearing tool that I use mainly just for the adapters. Measuring tools, you know. Oh, let's see, we got torque angle gauge, dial indicators. Um, Telescoping gauge set, small hole gauge set. This is just the uh, magnet base for dial indicator, micrometer. What do I got in here? Nothing here. Oh, big set of snap ring pliers there. Some OBD scan tools. This got live data and stuff. This one's just a little pocket reader. This is the little. I like this tool for doing radiator pressure test it fits pretty much anything you just screw this down this rubber piece swells up and yeah it works that way you don't have to fiddle around with all the other adapters some electrical stuff soldering gun electrical connectors then my brake tools flaring kit you know pliers and just the essential brake stuff so that's it for the toolbox, U.S. General. I mean, I like it for the price, you know. It does the job, you know. Toolboxes just hold tools, man. Nothing special about them. People always, you know, diss Harbor Freight stuff, you know. Some of it is junk, I agree. But there's stuff that I do buy, and it does the job just as well as anything else, especially for a toolbox. It, I mean, how can you go wrong with a toolbox? It holds your tools. It doesn't make the mechanic or the technician. You can have all the snap-on stuff or Mac, you know, the high-end stuff, and if you don't know how to use your tools, you know, then what good are you? But I'm not getting into a debate about that. <laughs> I just wanted to go over what, you know, my experience with it. So, hey, I like it. You know, so if anyone's looking for a toolbox and want to ever wonder, you know, how these hold up, you know, it's it's great. I mean the drawers. This one's just sticking because I don't have my lid all the way up, so the lock's catching a little. But I mean they slide very nice. I mean I have mine on a little bit of a tilt, so all I do is pull it out, and boom, she shuts for me. I mean they're nice and smooth. They glide easy. And what I like about it, a lot of people don't realize this. Let's see if, I, if the camera can pick it up. The edges are rolled. 
for, you know, gives it st you know, more stability and strength. And I've had a Craftsman box before, and I actually went to and looked at a bunch of other Craftsman boxes, and they don't have this road edge. And honestly, I don't think the Craftsman boxes are as nice as this. Or unless maybe you get one of the Pro Series, I guess. It may be a little better, but the ones you get in the stores, I mean, they they don't seem to glide as nice as this. And the, the ridges, you know, the, the drawers aren't rolled on the top. They're just a flat, uh, you know, piece of sheet metal. And it's not as durable, but hey, this whole set cost me, uh, let's see, I got these two top and bottom on sale. I think I paid under... I think I paid like seven fifty total, and then the side cabinet was on sale. I got it for one hundred and eighty bucks or something. So, and they also make the little side cabinet. You can it comes up to about here. It's got you know extra drawers. So, yeah, that's it. Anyone's looking for a nice toolbox for you know good price, U.S. General baby. So, if you want to comment like subscribe you know i mean got a new channel going here it's gregor's hilltop garage right here we got a ford focus doing some work on just replaced uh resistor pack on it blower motor resistor pack i got that video it's going to be uploaded it's a little short quick you know tell oh thunder oh so yeah it's got some AC issues. It's got a small leak. So I just charged it up. Just, you know, my dad's car. Get him some AC for a while and then figure out where the leak is. See, you know, if it, see how fast it's leaking down. It's holding pressure pretty good. Very small leak, so we'll figure that one out eventually. But yeah, Gregor's Hilltop Garage. Over and out.